Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today on Hang With Harv, we're headed outside so I can share with you how I load and unload the log arch that I built last year here on my channel. Here's our log arch, all finished, painted green uh, to match our little tractor. So obviously there's the reason they call it an arch is you have the arch that kind of goes up and over the log and mine is just kind of low tech. Uh, just uses some chains and these bars on the top as you can see, uh, just got some slots cut in there that you loop the uh, links of the chain through uh, to hold the log up. So really that's it. Uh, you see this pin here, uh, that pin you can pull out and be able to extend this log arch for longer logs. With that, let's go around front. Here we are, we've got our log arch. Now this admittedly is a teeny tiny little log. I don't believe it's long enough for me to hook it up front to back. So this may be just kind of a dangler. Um, unfortunately, that's as small as my log arch goes, but we'll, we'll give it a try. I'm thinking we pick it up right in the middle would probably be good and it may only need one chain. So to start this endeavor, what we do is we just take a piece of chain, whatever kind of chain you got, uh, whatever length, hopefully it's long enough. Mine is too long, but it's the only chains I have. And I haven't, I haven't really had the, the desire to cut them off. So basically I put it on the ground, pile it up, and then I just roll the log over. So I get chain on both sides. So now we've got chain both sides. Then we bring our log arch and we rest it on the log. And basically we just take one side, hook it in those, those hooks, like that. And we do the same on the other side. And I just loop it and put it through twice just so that it's extra secure. So you can see how the chain is looped around the log and looped around the, through the, the holder. Okay, basically the, uh, the next step is we use this as a lever and it allows us to pull down on that log. Now, as you can see, based on where that chain is, the butt end is up in the air, but it's uh, maybe a little top heavy the other way. So we're going to try and move that bite down a little bit. There we go, that's better. Now, we'll just move the tractor back. Okay, so once you have your log up on the arch, then it's just a matter of wheeling it forward a little bit and putting your pin in. If you don't want your chain dragging, you know, you can loop it or have a shorter chain. Whatever, it's not really going anywhere, but uh, that's essentially how I hook up the, the log arch that I built, uh, very low tech. Anybody want a rooster? <laughs> All right, so to get the log off, obviously it's just the reverse of the previous process. We just unhook it from the tractor and use it as a lever and drop it down. Of course, now you gotta, whatever you wound up of your chain, let me just unwind it. I'm trying to make a video. I don't need you sassing me here, log. Yeah, I think that rooster's gonna get turned into chicken nuggets here in a minute. Which part of the chicken do you think the nugget is? Personally, I say it's the thigh meat. Okay, once we got the log off, then we just kind of roll it into place. And unfortunately, I don't have any hydraulic anything. Lift that up and set it on top of something. So for right now, it's gonna sit on the ground. I'll probably get some thin limbs or some lo smaller logs and set on the ground and get it up off the ground so that try and keep some of the bugs out of it. <clears throat> Needless to say, that's the process that I go through for my log arch. It's how I hook it up and how I unhook it. Like I said, it's, it's really quite simple. All right, well, that's gonna wrap it up. Uh, this is just a real quick video. I had a subscriber that asked me uh, if I could show them the, the finished uh, log arch and actually how I go about uh, loading and unloading my log arch. That's gonna cover it for here. Like I said, there'll probably be future projects that involve this. My father has some logs uh, up at his property that he'd like me to come pick up to be able to use, some, some nice walnut logs. And uh, I think what I'll probably do is make a handheld, un a handheld you know, truck part uh, that slides in here, a different piece to put in the tube, and then take it up there and, and hook it up. If you're interested, give me a thumbs up and uh, let me know and I'll, I'll make sure that I film that. Thanks for hanging with Harv.